Hi guys, this is so exciting. Okay, so here's the deal. So, um, you might recognize me from Dancing Horse channel. Um, I do some crochet videos on there, but I'm starting my own crochet channel. So I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna like tear up here. <laughs> but, um, so this channel, like I said in the description about the channel, um, is going to be about crocheting because I'm, I'm, I love crocheting. I just want to show it all. So, um, I'm also, it's not going to be just about crocheting. Um, I didn't tell this in the description though. Um, I'm going to have some other crafts in there. So yeah, but here is my first video on this channel. So I'm so excited. So, um, just so you know, I'm not copywriting or anything. I probably will be taking the videos from Dancing Horse channel and placing it over to my channel because those are actually me. Okay, so they're not like somebody else's videos, they're my videos. So, um, I might just do that, just so you know, it's like not copywriting or anything. So, yeah. Um, so welcome to Sophia's Cozy Crochet! Welcome! Yay! So, um, well, one minute, I gotta... Okay, so, um... Rain block, sorry. I will have an intro for this channel. I know we don't have an intro for Dancing Horse, but this channel will definitely have an intro. Um, I'm working on it right now, so um, we're probably it's probably not going to be up to like one of my fourth videos. Um, but anyway, I'm excited. So, like I said before. In the dancing horse channel make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on notification bell it gives me give me a huge thumbs up and i will be posting on tuesdays and thursdays and sometimes fridays and if i absolutely cannot post on thursdays tuesdays or fridays i will be doing it on monday wednesdays but i will it's basically going to be tuesdays thursdays and sometimes fridays maybe not and if there's like anything like that happened like that's really exciting then yes i will video that but other than that, basically Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So maybe Fridays. So today, this is my first video. Um, if you have looked on the Dancing Horse channel, I've been working on a shawl. And I finished a baby blanket. And some other stuff too. So, if you have not done that, if you haven't like watched the video, you might want to go check that out first. So you understand the whole thing. So... I made this beautiful shawl, like it's not finished yet, but um, it's in progress, so it's a whip, a working in progress, so this is a very beautiful yarn, it's so soft, and this is what the yarn is, it is 335 yards, um, it is Sugar Wheel Yarn Bee Gimme Cobbler. And it is a number four, 100% acrylic, and you can use a 5.5 crochet hook with it. And I actually am using a 5.5 crochet hook with it. And for knitting needles, is a 5 millimeter. So, yeah. Um, guess how much I have left of it? And I I bought three rolls of that because that's you need like a thousand, a hundred. Um, I got this from Pamela Zidor and Crochet because she's amazing. You should go check her. I'll go. Put, I'll put in the description below her YouTube channel, and you should go check it out because it's amazing. So, um, this is how much I have left of it. I still have two more yarn balls to go, and a little one too, because I just need like an extra thirty-four yards. So, this is how much is left of it. Compare here, comparison. It's like as big as my ear. There it is. It's crazy. And this purple's in the center. You can't, there's like kind of really no purple in this center, but the other purple, well, the, the other one, it had purple in it. But yeah. And see, this is my 5.5 crochet hook. It looks backwards though. That's okay though. Um, here, let's see, you can see it now. You can see it now, hey, <laughs> hey. Okay. So, I love this because it works really well with my hand, and there's, like, a little gap, like, there's, 
that lump right there. And it works really well with my hand when I'm like doing this. So I'm just in love with that. Um, and I got it from Hobby Lobby. Oh, funny thing is, so Hobby Lobby had a sale, 30% off for all yarn going on. Then they took it off for like three days and now it's back on. And then we got some yarn last night because it went back on, I think last night. So I'm gonna have to move you guys right here because it's gonna be a lot of yarn. So if you don't know what baby blanket I'm talking about, you should go check out the video. Um, it says my new blank blank blank. This is so cool. So that's what the video is called. Um, and you should go check that out to see what I'm actually talking about with the baby blanket. Um, I probably will be doing re redoing all those crochet videos and putting them on here because. I mean, like, why do I want my crochet videos on a non-crochet channel? Like, it's, like, weird. So, here's the baby blanket. So, you know, it's, the baby blanket was for my dance teacher, and she had a girl, but now I have another dance teacher, and she has a baby boy who's one years old. His name is Mr. Dean, and um, she also has another one on its way so i don't know if it's a girl or the one that's on its way is a girl or a boy and she said she doesn't really want like a bluey or a pinky because she doesn't really want to like do that she wants like neutral colors so i'm gonna show you guys here i'm gonna back you up because you're gonna back up <laughs> um so my there's two colors and I got four skeins of yarn for each color. And I'm kind of doing like a yarn haul right now. <laughs> kind of, because I bought 16 rolls of yarn. And it was only like $33. It's like, oh, so good. Okay, anyway, the first color for the new, for the one that's coming on its way is called Buttercup Tender Touch Yarn B. 135 yards. Buttercup. And it's like very soft and it's like you can tell like from getting the light it's like a, a light yellow and it's number five bulky um for the knitting needles six millimeter and for the crochet hook 6.5 millimeter and it is 100 percent acrylic and, it, and yeah it's i love it i can sleep with i can make a pillow out of this and just ugh, sleep <laughs> okay and then so i bought four Balls of yarn. I might need to go get more, but that's my four balls of yarn. And for my... Oh, it came out. For my second color, this is called Rain. It's kind of like a grayish. And it has like silver white streaks in there a little bit. Um, and it's called Tender Touch Rain Yarn B. Well, it just says Tender Touch. It's not actually called Tender Touch Rain. It's just called Rain. But that says it says Tender Touch. And it's 135 yards, kind of same as this, kind of. And it's Yarn B, same brand. 100% acrylic, five bulky. Knitting needles, same as this one. Six millimeter knitting noodle, noodles, needles. And, um, and 6.5 crochet hook. So yeah, and I also got four of these things. Yeah. We're, I'm balancing it on one hand, guys. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Putting that, putting that there. Okay, so for Mr. Dean, um, I'm a little worried. I might have to go out and buy some more because this isn't, I don't think this is enough. Because on my last video, um, for the pink, Pinkaboo, that's what it's called. The pink yarn was called Pinkaboo. And uh, it only had 109 yards in it. I had to go out and buy more, and it was like almost out, so I'm, I was like a little worried. Um, but anyway, the two colors is this is another tender touch, and then it's yarn B, and it's called ice blue, and it's really pretty. It's like this is so this this is dark blue, and you can tell it's light blue, so I love it. So um, it's the same as the rain and buttercup was. I'm just gonna review it one more time just to make sure you get it. Five bulky, 100% acrylic, six millimeter knitting needles, 6.5 crochet hook, and um, yeah. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> it exploded. Okay, and my last yarn that goes with this one is I love this yarn. It's pretty together. I like it. 
So it, it kind of has like an all mixture of blue blues. And this is also number five bulky. This is what the pattern looks like kind of when it turns into a blanket. And it's a 100% acrylic, five bulky, 6.5 crochet hook, and six millimeter knitting needles. So I was about to say knitting needles. Um, yeah. So I also, this is 109 instead of 135, so I might actually have to go out and buy one more or two more even. Um, but yeah, I will probably also be doing a video on how to do this because it's like so soft. And it, you guys would probably love the pattern. <laughs> um, comment down below, should I do the newborn? Well, not the newborn, but the one, the baby that's on its way, or Mr. Dean first? Like, which blanket should I do first um, after I finish the shawl? And I'm also going to be working on, like, this mint pon poncho thing. Like, kind of like the shawl a little bit, but you actually slip it over your head. And it's, like, decorative and, like, pretty and soft. So... I'm excited to make that too. Um, my last thing of the day is some diamond art. So I've mentioned a couple times in my videos over at Dancing Horse Channel um, that I have been wanting to show you this diamond art thing and I keep on forgetting to show it in videos, but today is finally the day where I get to do it. So my first one that I ever did I only have two because I've been begging my mom. She's like, no, we'll get it later. We'll get it later. And it's been like a year and a half later. <laughs> so it's okay. But, um, cause I, I, I keep on forgetting too, but that's okay. And I'll, I'm also busy too. So, but I need to get another one or like a big, 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 big one. So this was my first one. I made it in like a day, I think. And so it's this, the mermaid, and it feels so awesome. I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can go and check Diamond Art out because, let me tell you, it's it's fun. It's very time-consuming, so if you don't do well with, like, time-consuming crafts, this is not the exact thing for you. You could try it, but I don't think you would like it that much. But if you like, like, taking, like, very tiny diamonds, picking it up with, like, just a teeny bit of wax with, like, your little waxing tool and literally placing it on the little tiny dot, and you love that a lot, then, yeah, totally, you can do this. Um, and this is a little bit bigger one. I got this for a present for my grandma. And so this is a Mickey Mouse, and it feels amazing. This took me like more like a week because I have, I'm a busy, busy girl. I have dance, school, kittens appointments. Oh, by the way, if you don't know, I have baby kittens. You ser you seriously got to go check out that Dancing Horse channel so you can, um, so you know what I'm talking about because I'm referring a lot of that back to Dancing Horse channel. I'm trying to, I'm kind of trying to transfer the, um, the videos of Dancing Horse Channel over to my channel that are, that are crochet, not like the fun videos. The fun videos stay there, but the crochet videos, I'm trying to transfer those over to this channel because I want this to be the crochet channel, like the crochet, cha the thing. So, um, the real deal. <laughs> so yeah. Um, well guys, I hopefully didn't, hopefully I didn't make this video too long. I see it's made like 13 minutes. I'm sorry, but I just love talking. <laughs> um, I'm really excited. So I kind of wanted to just chat a little bit before I showed you anything else. Um, remember comment down below. Should I make the baby that's on its way or Mr. Dean? for the baby blanket first. I will probably, um, I'll leave the description down for the shawl and for Diamond Dart and for my Dancing Horse channel and for Pamela Dora and Crochet. So it's four links right there. Um, remember I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Fridays. And let me know if I should do like a daily joke at the end of this video or like in the beginning of the video. Cause I feel like I should do like something to like get y'all rallied up or something. But, um, yeah, um, well, that's all I have for y'all today. Um, today is Tuesday. I will probably try to post it on Tuesday, if not Wednesday. And then, um, I, I try to post the videos on the day I make the videos. 
Um, so yeah, um, remember I post on Thursday. I might even post on Wednesday because I'm super excited. So, um, yeah. Okay, well, guys, I'm out of breath talking. So hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, and give me a huge thumbs up. Um, I will see y'all next time. Have a good rest of your day. So, bye.